Well guys, look at this. Another large day here in the big land. Uh, just here for a little snowmobile ride. You can see we got a lot of snow down. Uh, I haven't been out a whole lot lately. I've been uh, battling the flu lately, uh, kind of like a chest flu. And before that, you know, we were getting a lot of snow and the wife was away for meetings. So, so I haven't been that much lately. So I said, I'm coming for a little snowmobile ride. Uh, when the wife was out to meetings here in Ottawa at a Northern Lights conference, uh, she brought, brought me back a pair of uh, uh, black bottom seal skin boots. And those boots are kind of special. Uh, a little bit windy here. I'm going to go look for a place a little more in the lawn so you probably hear me better. And uh, I'll uh, show and talk with those boots a little bit. Uh, I want to do this earlier, like I said, but I just, just suffering from the flu. Uh, I do have a couple of rabbits near us out. I used to check every day. That's all I would do. And, uh, and that was uh, that was enough, I tell you. So, uh, so that's why I'm wearing this Canada Goose Parker, nice warm Parker. I normally only wearing you on line trips and stuff, but uh, I said I'll dress up, dress up good, go for a little ride, and show you the boot. Well, I must say it's a beautiful day. Uh, bit cold, minus 21 degrees Celsius, and down like minus 35, 37 with the wind chill. And right here is my uh, black bottom seal skin boots, and. Uh, I wanted to show these earlier, but boy, with the flu, I, I just couldn't do much. So and I said, it's better to show them like this, you know, than wearing them. Uh, be able to really see the detail a lot better in them. And, uh, and just look at the pattern on there. Isn't that beautiful? And they also got like a flannel sock with a slipper down there as well. And normally this would be uh, made out of some kind of fur as well. And what makes these special is uh, uh, the seal skin that's used in the bottoms. And also the type of sewing, the stitch that's used to sew these together. And uh, normally uh, it would be like a beard of seal skin. Their, their skin is tougher than the other types of seals. And the stitch is special in that uh, uh, the needle don't go all the way through. It just goes through so far. And don't if you poke a hole all the way through. Well, what's special with these is this stitch makes them waterproof. And if the needle went all the way through, it wouldn't be waterproof no more. So it only like, takes in a little bit of the hide. And he sews it like that, just true so far, and then it's sewed on the inside as well. And that's the same kind of stitch that uh, they would use to make uh, seal skin kayaks. And you know, the, the way these skins are done, treated, is a special technique as well. And this right here is the, the flannel slipper, and uh, this here is like a big flannel sock. And you put this one on, and, and then you you put your slipper on and down in your seal skin boot and like I said now this would normally be made out of fur as well you know but uh, but it's really warm and then you got the string comes around toys up in front here and look at that a beautiful pattern on them and and the work that went into these is uh is unbelievable you know uh, the person who made these <laughs> this is not her first pair put it that way a lot of experience this lady has a lot of experience and uh, it's actually you know sad to say that uh, this sewing technique and make, doing the skins this way is almost like a, is a dying art. Uh, there's only a handful of people, you know, that are actually left to know how to do that. And uh, probably this is one that we should uh, really try to bring back. <coughs> oh boy! Well, guys, I should also mention, you know, uh, you, you know, we live in a cold climate, and our ancestors, you know, like they lived in igloos and or whatnot. And uh, but you know, well, modern houses are kind of warm and stuff. Uh, these boots want to be kept somewhere cold. You can't, like, some people put them in their freezer, keep them froze, stuff like that. You don't want them in, in warm too long, or you'll actually get a smell net from them and or whatnot. But uh, so, uh, to really look after them properly, you want to keep them in a cold, cold place. I guess, you know, authentic uh, Inuit seal skin boots, right? So, uh, you know, one thing that amazes me about our ancestors is, uh, <coughs> is how they survive with actually very little heat, you know, just a little, little fire going from a bit of seal oil in the cuddle so so you know they never had a lot of big fires they lived in the area I guess lots of times there wouldn't much wood or anything else to get so just a little little fire going with seal oil is all he had and stuff you know so it's truly amazing yeah, well, I would say they were like the ultimate survivalists you know so but anyway I uh, uh, don't let me hear too much longer I'm gonna get back like I said I I had a nasty old flu and uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to be overdo it right now until it gets over it proper. So, uh, so I guess that's it for this one, guys. Uh, yeah, I want to get, get like a little bit of fresh air and uh, so and I want to show these. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like always, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you all on the next one.